Hello, hey there, it's Shade, aka Miss London. Now, I would welcome you back to my channel, but I haven't been here in a while, so it's more like me welcoming myself back, okay? Consider me to be like Jesus. I may not be there when you call me, but I'll be there on time. I'll be dropping videos like Shade drops album. She does it every 10 years, but when she does drop it, it's quality. Consider this quality. Now, as you guys can tell by the title, I did a three day fast recently and I basically just wanted to come on here to share um, my results with you guys. So if you're interested, stick around. Now, why did I decide to start myself for three days? Well, first of all, I really want to be able to eat a little bit healthier. And so I figured a three day fast is a way for me to kind of reset my body before starting on that healthier journey. Also, my body was out here looking like a whole ass ghetto. And I know it's the end of summer, but I'm trying to keep this summer body going into winter, okay? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys along through the days and how I was feeling. Um, also give you some tips on how you can, if you do try to do it, how you're able to make it through those rough three days because they're going to be rough. And then I'm going to show you my results at the end. So let's get into it. So let's start off with day one. I initially weighed in at 138.6 pounds and I weighed myself on Friday morning. Now my last meal before doing this weigh-in was around 8 p.m. the night before. Okay, it is day one. And it's been a little over 12 hours since I've eaten and I feel okay but I normally feel okay in the mornings because I don't really eat in the mornings I mostly just suffer from anxiety because I'm always like wondering what I'm gonna eat because I don't there's usually no food in my house and um, I'm always just anxious about what I'm gonna eat for the day so I still have that anxiety but instead of instead of about what I'm gonna eat it's mainly about the fact that I'm not gonna eat but um, I'm not so hungry and whenever those anxious thoughts come in my mind, I just take a sip of my water. So, um, yeah, but I feel okay. I'm going to check in in another 12 hours. <laughs> my mood is probably going to be very different then. Uh, yeah, and we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, excuse the appearance, but I just got done working out. But it has officially been 24 hours since my last meal. I think I, it's right now it's about 9-11. And I had my last meal around 7-something yesterday. Uh, how am I feeling? I am hungry, <laughs> but it's not the kind of hunger that's a uh, discomfort. It's more so the hunger that I normally feel when I wake up in the morning. I am feeling a little bit shaky, but that's usual when I'm hungry. And I'm going to try and have some green tea right now to see if that will help with the shakes. And I've been drinking water all day. Um, not, it wasn't no gallon or nothing like that. It wasn't even a half a gallon, but I think I'll probably make it to a half a gallon by the end of the night because I'm going to go out with my friends now and I'm going to be drinking water all night. So I probably will make it. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. So I guess I will check in in the next 12 hours to see how I'm feeling. Wish me luck. Because <laughs> tomorrow I'm pretty sure it's going to be a struggle. Okay, so it is 3 a.m. in day two and I haven't had anything to eat for about 30 hours now and I'm feeling okay surprisingly i went out today or last night i guess i went dancing and i even went to the gym yesterday and now i'm home and i don't know how i have energy right now it is beyond insane so i'll check in again in the next few hours hey guys so i'm giving you guys an update it is day two a little bit over 48 hours since i've had my last meal and this is going way better than I expected it to go. So first of all, going into this, I was expecting to have like constant headaches. I was expecting to have some excruciating hunger pains. And as a matter of fact, my whole plan was just to lay in the bed this entire weekend and try to exert the least amount of energy as possible. But somehow, hey, I'm like, I'm filled with energy. I am hungry, but like my hunger hasn't like progressed. It's been the same hunger that I've had since Friday. So it's, I don't feel like it's gotten worse. And I think the hardest part about this has just been the mental part. And even that's not that bad for me. Like even today, I went out to the beach today with my friends. I was out in the sun all day. I even did a few jump squats with my friends, like, and somehow still have energy right now. And I almost broke. I wanted to, I, I have felt the need to have some guac guacamole today. But then when I got to the restaurant, I stood there for a while and I was like, 
nah, I'm almost at the end, I'm not gonna do it. And I haven't felt hungry since then. So like, yeah, this is going way better than I expected and I'm really excited um, for tomorrow. Um, the only thing though, I still haven't been drinking as much water as I had planned. Today, I think I probably get around to about maybe about 50 ounces of water, which I'm trying to do at least 65 to 70 ounces. Um, so I haven't got around to that. But yeah, like, your girl is doing this. So I will check in again um, tomorrow and let you guys know how I'm feeling. So today is actually day four. And unfortunately, I didn't get to record much yesterday because I was out busy running errands. And so I didn't have the time to. But let me tell you something. Yesterday was a whole ass struggle. It was getting very difficult for me to ignore the weakness. Not so much the hunger, but just the weakness. However, one thing that surprised me about yesterday was my mental state. By this point, I was proper expecting me to be like irritated and angry and really hangry. But I was pretty chill mentally. So I was pretty excited about that one fact. Now that we're on day four, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my results. But before I do that, I pretty much wanna give you guys some you know, quick tips on how to make it through the days if you are planning on doing this. Now, the first thing I need you to know is that results may vary. It's not gonna be the same experience for everybody. For me, it was a little bit easier to get past the hunger because I'm generally used to starving myself on a regular basis, so. The, ignoring the hunger wasn't that difficult. Again, the most difficult part of this process was for me to ignore the weak feeling for an exper extended period of time. But for you, it may very well be different. You may be able to get through it easily or you may not. The second tip is green tea was the plug for me throughout this entire experience. It gave me the energy that I needed and I think I drank, drank it maybe um, twice per day, I would drink it in the morning and then probably in the evening when I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So if you're interested in the tea that I drank, I actually got this one from um, Greenwise or Publix. I guess you can get it from Publix, but um, this is a regular schmegula old tea. I put it in a bowl of water, regular ass water, with a regular ass tea bag, no sweeteners, no nothing, and that was it. And trust me, this worked very well for me. So maybe you could give it a try if you actually plan on going on this journey. The third thing I'd suggest is that you try to keep your mind occupied. If your mind is occupied, then you probably won't be so worried about that hunger feeling in your stomach. So try to find things to do, keep yourself busy. The other thing I suggest is to do this on a day that you're off or days that you're off and you don't have anything to do. So that way, if it becomes too difficult, you can either sleep your way through it or you can just stay home and do what I had planned to do, which is just relax and exert the least amount of energy as possible. And the last and fourth tip I have is for you to try to work out. Now for me, generally when I work out, I usually feel a lot less hungry. Like when I get out of the gym, I don't want to eat for hours. So I thought that would work for me. So I went out and I did a little bit of a light workout. It wasn't as strenuous as it was before, but that really helped to keep up the hunger. So if you are the kind of person who don't generally get hungry after a workout, then maybe that is something for you to try. Anyway, let us us get into the results of this whole shebang. So this is me weighing myself this morning. And as you can see, I weigh in at a whopping 129 pounds. All right, so those are my results. If I'm honest, I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this process, so I basically went into it with a very open mind. But I have to say, I am very, very happy with my results, especially the number on the scale, okay? That number is giving what it needs to give, okay, baby? Even though I do know it's mostly water weight and I probably will gain some of that back, but what I'm gonna to try to do over the next few days is make sure that I that number creeps up very slowly. And that's gonna have a lot to do with the way I break my fast. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another video showing you guys how I break my fast and what are the things that I plan to eat um, for the week following this fast. So you guys should like, subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell so you guys can know when I post that video. I don't want to hear this mess about you don't post videos often. The least you can do is hit the button so that way you get notified for the next video that I'm going to post. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bella, ciao, bella, ciao, bella, ciao, ciao, ciao. This is...